this is Eli Olson. Welcome to Flow State. All right, everybody. Good morning. Me and Brown's gonna go uh, go fishing fishing today. It's a stormy day down here in Haleiwa. All right. Well, I didn't film. We were trying to catch bait, and it started storming, so we were soaked. But uh, we moved spots. We're gonna try to catch some bait and catch the little guys and then send the little guys down and try to get the big guys. A little guy. Nice. Okay, we loaded up on bait. Turned out to be a nice day too. Yeah, thunderstorming to beautiful sunshine. Forgot the sunscreen. We just lost <laughs> a beast of a fish. Come on, baby, we're hungry. Like dinner. We got here. Yeah, yeah. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yes! Yeah! Just what we wanted. Let's go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Bro, guys, oh. I had just lost about three fish before that and I was getting so discouraged. This is a perfect example of a... Never give up. Never give up. Time. Cause now we're eating. Woohoo! Oh. I color. Come on, baby. Amigo. Circle again. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Oh shit. Those are bro, I got all tangled. I don't know what happened. Same as by your spine. What is that? Look at, we had a tangle. Look at what I just, me and Brandon just caught. Oh my God. When I caught this fish, my pole fell off and somehow that fish wrapped my pole. And we just got my pole back. Wow. That might be luckier than any fish I've ever caught. <laughs> this is my favorite pole. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ski. Yeah. yeah, baby. It's not a giant, but they all taste the same. This yeah. is this is exactly what we're trying to get. Brandon is on. I'm gonna net his shitty so it spits the ski. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. God. Meal. Woohoo! Woohoo! Look, I think something tried to hit your fish. Yeah. These guys are predators on predators out here. Wow, this is a beautiful fish. Granting. Piggy. Nice one. Good morning, everybody. We got blessed with another little swell, so we're gonna try and find some waves. Small, but it is getting bigger. Also, everybody, say goodbye to the hair. I um, I landed a stunt gig, and they said the hair's gotta go. No. So the silver, purple, gray, old man hair that you guys love and hate, it's gotta go. Uh, so. 
say goodbye, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get some fun waves, and uh, see you soon. That was a huge ramp right there. We got dogs on the beach, we got waves at Rockies. Take a, we'll take a look at sunset for you guys. We'll see if we'll assess the situation here. Yeah, it's like take off like deep on that shelf. Like look at this little So beat up in Mexico. Ooh. And all kinds of dings that got fixed. And then did an air and my board flipped and I landed on it, almost folded the brand new stick. starting to fill in and um, yeah it was kind of slow but got a couple waves fill out the board and uh, go get some breakfast now I haven't eaten yet I was kind of starving out there and then um, find another fun spot to surf and uh, we'll take you guys with us stay tuned we surfed this morning it was kind of like slow swells filling in the waves were like pretty wonky nothing special but got a couple waves got some food now we're headed back to uh, meet up with the boys and get another session in. I mean, yeah, it's still nothing crazy, but we got waves right now, so that's that's pretty killer. You know, it's like, it's pretty much the beginning of summer, so it's usually just flat. So we're grateful for any waves we get right now, especially on North Shore. And um, after we surf, I got some fish from um, fishing two days ago. They'd just been sitting on ice. That's actually, um, when I get good fish, I like to leave them on ice for a day or two because um, I feel like the quality of the meat gets a lot better. A lot of people feel like you gotta eat fish like right after you catch it, but the fish's blood is warm and the meat is like kind of not as good quality when you cut it open right away. Like this sounds crazy, but if you ice it for a day or two, the quality of the meat actually gets better. And um, yeah, so today's the second day after the catch and it's been just on ice the whole time. And I feel like it's gonna be pretty insane, so. I gotta chop up the fish later and then um, make a nice dinner. And I'll take you guys along for the whole the whole deal. You smell that? Peach fat. It's the one. It's my favorite one. Even though it's warm, it's still amazing. There's not too many energy drinks you can drink warm, and they still taste good. But this one, you can do it. You can drink it hot if you want it. Back at Sunset Point. Seems to be the uh, spot today. Kind of a little bit burnt out on Rockies. Switch it up for you guys to Sunset. Uh, we got Nate and Ka joining us today. And, um... <laughs> yeah, <laughs>
right guys, um, session two down. And there is a chance we surf again, but um, we'll see. Yeah, it's like nothing too crazy. And then I think tomorrow we'll have waves too, so I might save it for tomorrow. But um, yeah, once again, keep an eye out for the new shirt coming soon. Um, I'm super excited about that shirt. I think you guys will like it a lot. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. What up guys? Uh, so we're down at Three Tables, the beach that I grew up at, right across from my house. I brought down the fish that I caught the other day. I'm gonna scale them and I'm gonna gut them and, and then I'm gonna choose one of them and make a nice dinner tonight. And I'm gonna just take you guys along for the whole process. From the catch, to the cleaning, to the cooking, to the eating. All right, let's get to it. Let's start with this big Moana Kali. We got their scales off, and uh, the scale is like the fish's armor. It feels almost like a hard, almost like plastic. That's what protects their skin, and that's like, yeah, it's like their armor. And it's really hard, so you don't want to, you don't want to eat them, you know. So you take off all the scales, and then you have a nice, soft, smooth fish. You cut it wide open. You open it up. Cut the very top of their gills right here. If you do it right, you should be able to pull the whole guts out in one pull. This is his stomach, and um, cut it open and see what he's been eating. Or she. I see eggs, so that means it's a female. So that is a little fish there. It's hard to see, but if you look close, that's an eye and a little, a little spine back fin. I don't know what kind of fish that is, but it's tiny. Circle of life. We catch the fish, we're gonna eat the fish, and nothing gets wasted. The, even the guts and the gills are going back into the ocean, and little fish are gonna eat it, crabs, eels, and um, nothing gets wasted. After you pull out all the guts and gills, still got a little bit of blood, but you rinse it off, and then we'll throw it back in the ice. This is a uh, uku. It's one of my favorite eating fish in the world. I'm just taking the scales off right where I'm gonna be cutting. Cut down, here's the belly, and you cut along to the anal, the anal fin here, and then you cut along the tail, and you cut underneath the long spine, and then you'll have a nice filet. Mmm! 